Speed's coverage of the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series on Speed is brought to you in high definition by Fudai. Fudai, fun and innovative. Experience more at FudaiAmerica.com. By Chief, the new album from Eric Church, available now at Target. By Allstate, mayhem is everywhere. Protect yourself, Allstate. Are you in good hands? And by Aaron's, you don't need credit. All you need is Aaron's. Big story on the racetrack, Ray. Johnny Sider has cut a right front tire down. He came on the radio to tell Joe Shear, I've got a tire go down, I have to pit. Shear said, ride it out as many laps as possible. The rain may be here. And Johnny said, I'm about to crash, I've got to pit. He comes to pit road on lap 136. He'll lose one lap, maybe two. Yeah, Joe Shear kept saying over the radio, it possibly could rain. You've got to stay out one more lap. Stay out one more lap. Johnny finally said, I can't. I can't stay out another lap. He saw Austin Dillon. Oh, and he's got problems on the right front of that truck. You see the sparks flying behind the, or under that, the 13. That may just be because of low air pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What he's done, done on the right. He ran too far, Phil. He had the tire go down flat. I think he's rubbed the sway ball on yeah. off the right front of the truck, ruining his night and possibly that championship that we talked about. He and Austin Dillon racing to Homestead for. I was watching the current points as they run, and it just kept going and going and going. And right now, if the race ended right now, Austin Dillon would be our point leader. As they run, Dillon currently leading the points. You could see Joe Shear watching the sky, wanting that, wanting uh, Johnny Sauter to stay out. So when the rain came, they could pit under caution. He stayed out too long, Phil. Blew the right front tire and ground the sway bar arm off. Yeah. Right now we're hearing sprinkles on the roof and sparks from underneath the 13. He's two laps down. Johnny Sauter is out in front is James Busher, Austin Dillon running second. But the big story is point leader Johnny Sauter with problems with the right front of that truck. What a pivotal moment in our championship fight. We talked about the 13 and the three, Michael, being there the rest of the year all the way down to Homestead. And I think they will, but it may be reversed when we leave here because that 13 truck right now is in serious trouble. You remember the three truck at Iowa? He said, man, we can't just throw it away on pit road. He was really upset about a pit stop that they had that cost him. He felt like that victory. This is another example of how important every aspect of this game is. A mistake that was made gambling for the rain to come has cost this team tonight two or three laps before he eventually pitted he kept saying I've got to come I've got to come and they said the rain's coming they're talking about rain please stay out and run another lap and, and look what happened and you know the spotter obviously who's standing on top of the press box here above us is the one who's looking at the rain and saying I feel raindrops I can feel drops so he's telling them maybe hey, hang on for one more lap but remember right now Johnny Sauter was going to be two laps down anyway yeah so but his it, trucks tore up and now but now his trucks tore up and he's down two laps can't get back up to speed. Two laps down, and we'll probably lose more if this race continues to stay under green because there is serious damage to the third.